are not doing this on their own. The, the, the message is very clear. The message is for everyone. He did not exclude the rich. He did not exclude the poor. He included everyone. And you all need to listen to this very word. And I'm Chioma, and I'm trying to let you all know that God in heaven has given us a chance, like our brother said. He spent time on that. His message is very clear about Jesus Christ the Lord. The Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. I'm not a preacher. I'm just telling you all that his word is true. Because his, his master that sent him said he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to God except through Jesus Christ. So we're just going to look into the word of God. And we can look through the book of Matthew chapter 6. Let's start from 19. If you're very wealthy, this message is for you. If you are very poor, this message is for you. If you are middle way, this message is for you. So I'm going to read it as much as I can. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 19, uh, 19 to the end. Do not lay up for yourself treasure on earth. Where moths and rust consume, where things break in and steal, but lay up for yourself treasure in heaven, where neither moths and rust consume, where things do not break in and steal, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is sound, your whole body will be full of light. And if your eye is not sound, your whole body will be full of darkness. And if then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? No one can serve two masters. For you will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore do not be anxious about your life saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or about your body? What shall we put on? Is life not better than food? And the body better than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap, nor gather into bands. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them all. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to your span of life? Therefore, do not be anxious about your clothing. Even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like the flowers on the field. Even in all his dressing, he was not like them. Therefore, do not be anxious asking what you shall eat or what you shall drink. For the Gentiles seek all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that they need them all. But seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you do not be anxious about tomorrow for tomorrow will be anxious for itself Hallelujah. let the day's trouble be sufficient for that for this day therefore brothers and sisters this is a chance for all of us this is a chance for the rich this is a chance for the poor this is a chance for the young this is a chance for the old. Please do not despise a warning. Please do not despise an invitation this precious. This brother has talked many times about Jesus Christ. He is not new to us. And we are not strangers to him. He only needs relationship. He needs a healing. We are not fighting about Corona healing. We are fighting about the healing of our hearts. The healing of the things we do. The things we do not care about. The many people that are hurt on daily basis. The people we despise. That's where the healing needs to come. So people of Austin, today is your blessed day. Please take advantage of today and look through your list of life and see where you need to fix. Because you cannot serve God and Mama. 
one. You cannot fuck God on anything. You have to focus attention on Jesus Christ, the Savior. The love of God that takes away the sin of the world. You will pay your mortgage. You will pay your bills. For salvation is free. Why do you despise what is free? Hallelujah. Is it not wise to take what is free? You do not pay anything for making it through life and making it into eternal life. It is free and it's available. Please look into your life. It's not difficult. Look into your life and confess all your sins. Whether you're in your restroom, whether you're with friends, anytime it touches your heart, please do not miss the opportunity. The heart is the machine of this message. Your heart is what is needing to be healed. If it touches you in your bedroom, please kneel down. Ask God about yourself. Seek Him in your bedroom. Repent.